The time has come again. It is turn 18 now. We have developed our very first level 2 technology or tier 2 technology, I should rather say. And we've got some very fancy toys, or fancy looking toys anyway, to play with. Like we have shields unlocked, we have fancy new sensors, we have these very fancy reactors. There was another combat, which I'm guessing just was our ships running circles around each other. And. Yes, our supply ship has constructed, which means we can now start. Uh, doo -doo -doo. We can start sending those places. These ships are being supplied from the homeworld, actually, which means they can still go there for a turn more. And then I should probably move uh, uh, move together with this one, and be supplied remotely. Colonies are going to be still building their initial yards. Yeah, this one is still building for a while. I set this one to build a few fighters at the start too. If he comes along with cruisers that have planet bombardment missiles, um, it would make me an unhappy panda if I didn't have fighters or anything to defend myself then. I should probably put a little bit of fighters, or better yet gunboats that have uh, missiles, on each of my colonies to defend them. Uh, we set you to be a mining colony. At some point it'll stick, eventually, is my hope. It's not that the colony types are important, but whatever. So this ship uh, initiated one more combat and then it lost sight of the ship. Maybe he cloaked, maybe he didn't. I don't know, but I am going to cloak and send my ship through there. He is not yet going to cloak. Mm. No, he's not waiting. He's not yet going to cloak. He is, since he was uncloaked for a little bit, he had the chance to regenerate some of his supplies. But he, since he kept on going full speed, he didn't get to regenerate any supplies, even being uncloaked. These guys uh, are still going. There's nothing else going through this system. We can build something new. Maybe we should have queued up something else last turn again. But let's play around with this new fancy technology we have. Uh, yeah, let's take this warship we have. And see. We have antimatter reactors, which give us a plus two bonus in a more compact 25 tons. Ooh, and they have a very nice resource cost distribution, 250 each. And then there's solar reactors, which generate a thousand so uh, uh, 100 supplies per star, but they're pretty big. 100 supplies, uh, these generate 75 supplies, and they are half the size of the solar reactor, so unless you really have two or maybe even three stars in a system, I'm not sure that's going to be worth it. Well, it's probably going to be worth it if you have two stars in the system, and they don't cost very much either. Hmm. Okay, so they would also be a good option for a more static supply generation, like if you had a um, mining ship, for instance. Intermediate wide, oh, they're smaller, 75 to 750. Fire rate, 10 seconds. I fail to see why warheads should have a fire rate at all. I feel like they only fire once. Oh well, I'm not planning on using them anyway. So look at the new sensors. Gravity dish uh, at default gener <laughs> Let's just see the two levels which we've always wanted to see. And the big array is three levels by default, just like the leveled up radar array. Mm, does it give us better system one? The visible targets in the system can be scanned in detail. Oh, I like that one. I like that one a lot. Now the radar array does not give us this bonus. I like long range sensors a lot. Because, especially in a PvP game, you just need to know what the enemy is bringing to be able to counter them. So, I think I am going to deploy some ships uh, that have these uh, things on them. That seems like the thing to do for me. Where is this uh, radar ship we have? Let us upgrade you. Uh, da -da. Go down. How oh, expensive is this? Not very. So this isn't overly expensive. This is 120. 20, this is oh, like levels. 
whatever. And we can make them faster too by putting one of our new fancy antimatter reactors on there, which is also going to make the ship much quicker to build because we don't need a nuclear reactor that costs 500 anymore. And it's going to be for speed. Oh, next generation scout ship, here you go! <sighs> Since our fleet is still so close to home, I'm just going to immediately build one of these and send it to go catch up with that fleet. Who knows what we're going to do with the other one. I'm probably going to send that um, to these eastern systems to keep an eye there. We are going to want you to build right here, right now, and it's going to be glorious. Um, do we have any other techs unlocked? Well, we had shields, the technology unlocked, the uh, tech field. Oh yeah, probably going to need other techs in order to unlock other stuff with quantum physics. Let us look at this shield system, defenses, that's where it's going to be. Magneto shields. Ah, expensive. I think that's too expensive for me right now. I think I rather want the orbital industry level 1 first. Okay, yeah, this should be done in five turns. Yeah, five turns, Bob. Hmm. Okay, we don't have any other ships that require orders. You are going to go through that war point. Maybe he has defenses after that, maybe not if he just sent a scout through. But who knows if this is the first scout. I want defenses here, or at the very least on this inner, s this inner side of my own system very soon. Ah, but no, he's gonna be there in two turns. He was there last turn, which means he could be here now, and in two turns he can be like here. So I'm definitely going to be able to defend this war point against this scout ship. That is if this thing is actually going to spawn close enough to where my ship can catch it and kill it. But then again, this is three moves. The scout he has only has t a scout he had only had two moves. So uh, I'm reasonably confident. Okay, we have some extra build capacity here. What do we want to do? We probably want to upgrade every single ship we have to antimatter engines for one thing. Um, I'm only going to do that once we actually build these. I'm not just going to go through all of them right now. So what do we want? There's still the upcoming uh, gunboat build we are going to do. So for now, I guess, more PD-like ships with lots of autocannons that can kill gunboats themselves would be in order. Just like general warships that I can throw at the enemy. May or may not come in handy. Hmm. Yeah, sounds good to me. Okay. Well, medium titanium armor is level 1 and uh, has 150 structure. Interesting. Whereas it has the same, uh, it has linearly scaled to the same statistics as a level 2 light titanium armor. I was a little worried because they only had level 1 armor there, but no, it's the medium one. It's supposed to be that way. So, uh, where's the reactor? Here you are, there you go. And this is now a 4 speed ship. And, um, yeah. Nothing else we need to do. No excess crew quarters we can remove for two extra armor plates or something silly. <sighs> we have these very nice level 5 mass servers. Maybe we should build ships that have more of these. Yeah, let's do that. Let's uh, switch some of these guns out for them. Should we also use artillery mounts? They have these very nice level 3 artillery mounts. They give plus 60 accuracy. Yeah, it's plus 10 accuracy, I guess. And plus accuracy is also going to be very good against gunships, you know. Can we... yeah, we can have it like this. Two of these artillery guns, and then it's uh, quite a different, quite a bit different ship though. Uh, let's give it another name, pulmonary consumption, yes. And let's give it a strategy for... well, you're still going to have your best accuracy at 40 range. 
but maybe we want to have you sitting at 60 or 80 range. Is there even a 60 range? No, there's just 80 range. Okay, let's call you 80 range then. Fighters are likely going to get closer by themselves anyway. And with ships, there's no need to get closer. Ships will hit at 80 range uh, well enough. So, design type, attacker 80. Yeah. This is coming together. Can we fit a PD auto cannon here? I mean, yes, we can. Do we have enough room? Yeah, we still have some headroom crew rise, it seems. Put you there. And ammunition. What does the ammunition consumption of these look like? Uh, the same. So, these are going to be ammunition guzzlers, though. 20 ammunition per turn uh, per second, whereas these require well less. Let's just put some extra in here. The armor shall suffice. We could put in an extra armor plate and remove two of these magazines. Do we want to do that? Mm. Yeah, probably. The PD is l unlikely not going to shoot all this time, so let's rather have a third armor plate. Mm -hmm. I'm happy with this. Yes. Is this going to be better than the missile ship? Uh, maybe not. If I had 6 seconds, GPS wise it's probably not better. I'm not too worried about these things getting shut down unless there are serious military uh, hardware on the field that has uh, a lot of PD. Maybe I should sim it, see how well these 0.1 second reload PD auto cans actually do against missiles. But I'm gonna build a few of these guys. Speaking of building a few guys here and there, how are we doing mineral wise? We are still doing quite good, I would say. We are still doing much better on organics, but uh, actually, oh no, give me my wrong button again. Give me my own empire report. How much do we get? We get 20% mineral production from racial trade. Yeah. No wonder. No wonder we are that good on the minerals. And so let's build some. This one was it? Yes. Uh, two of these, three of these is going to fill our, uh, fill our build queue for now. I wonder if he, if he has all that hardware, 10 cruisers or whatnot flying around, if he's just built more uh, space yards. Can't we see an estimate on his research? Zero. Well, I would um, hope that's not actually zero. Unless he went for a rush strategy and intends me to kill a starting tech or something. Because he doesn't have very much impressive things in here either. Or at least I don't think uh, all these tags are going to be very expensive, but I'm not sure if this shows me all his tags. Seems like a little bit is missing. But then again, there wasn't, there wasn't uh, that much in the way of tech in this game, right? But weapon miniaturization, for instance, the tech is missing. And he also has this psionic trait. I don't know what that brings to the table at all. I'm just going to be surprised by this. I feel like, this a, I feel like that's a handicap that I can take on. I say that now. Let's wait five turns until my own world is in ruins. And I hope it's not five turns. You know, I'm gonna have fi uh, pretty fast chips or cloak chips on this way a long time ago to kill me in five turns. But, uh, well, the game develops.